All right, this is Mike and Jay with We Watched a Movie, and this is going to be our first all-time review of a movie. We're doing the movie Contraband. It basically starts out that Mark Wahlberg is a former smuggler, and he he's kind of turned over a new leaf, and he's got his you know his best friend with him that is also was a former smuggler, but his brother-in-law gets in trouble, and he has to go back into the smuggling business to get his brother-in-law out of it. So it was kind of like that Gone in 60 Seconds. There were some good high parts in the movie. Like, there was a lot of action in the movie. There was a lot of, like, explosions and kind of stuff like that. Kind of like a mid-90s even, late-90s kind of movie. You know, yeah. what, what, I mean, what did you think about it? I thought it was good. It's just there's a problem with any movie when at any point in the movie the action lacks and you stop and go, well, I wonder how long this movie has left. Mm -hmm. I did that several times in the middle of the movie. The movie's set in, in, in Louisiana. And Mark Wahlberg in almost every one of his movies, which that's fine. I'm good with it. Don't, it don't beat me up Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Nolens. Uh, you like say how boys night? And yeah, I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say before he you even sounded say it. like he was it, from the exactly. fighter. He never can change yeah. his he can never change his accent. He's always sounded like he's a you know New Jersey or Boston. Yeah. I can't do it. But when we say no, no disrespect, to Mark Wahlberg. We love him. We think he's a great actor. But Mark Wahlberg does kind of come off as the same kind of character actor. Yeah. You know. But it's but, fine. It worked really well in the fighter, and it worked really well in movies like Fear and. Uh, you know what the problem was? He wasn't in this movie enough. But give uh, give him props because he didn't do what Rabisi did. You know, Giovanni Rabisi. I guess that's how you say his name. Yeah, I'm not it's sure. The director. He was even yeah. in Gone in sixty seconds, which just takes a, almost a direct plot from. He was. He was yeah, he was the younger brother. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rabisi's supposed to be oh, this badass yeah, bad, bad guy. And he looked the part. But then when he go to talk, he's like, "Don't mess me up, I'm gonna fuck your family." <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It was too hot, and you almost—it was almost like it was comedic. Yeah. And that part, like Giovanni, was it Giovanni? Rubisi. Rubisi. That's a guess. I, think, I guess that's what it is. Yeah. When he tried yeah. to, when he tried to do the New Orleans accent, guys. What did he say in the line? Oh the my coat? god, that was the greatest <laughs> line that unintentional. Yeah. I, I don't know if he was trying to be funny, but it kind of was like a low audio in that point in the movie. But I heard it perfectly, and I laughed. Like two minutes, like after that scene, like I was still laughing and what? I missed. Like he said, uh, it's the greatest booger sugar. <laughs> it, it, they're they're it, sitting down and they've got this big, like, brick of coke, and he's like, Yeah, <laughs> and what did he, what, how did he say it? Like, uh, I mean, I can't do a New Orleans like, accent, but he's like, It's sugar. a good booger sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds more like Russian, but it, it, it was kind of like it was like booger sugar. And no, but it was funny, guys, because nobody in the whole theater laughed at that part. But I was sitting there giggling like a little three-year-old schoolgirl. Like, <laughs> yeah, Jay laughed for like five minutes. Maybe not three or six-year-old, but I mean, I don't know if you'd be in school. It was three. good though. But yeah, and then uh, like I know what they were doing with him. Like you said, his 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 look looked good, and but you know, and you're like when you see him first, you're like, I know what this kind of guy's gonna be. He's gonna be like one of those rough and tumble kind of guys, like really cold kind of killer. He <laughs> was like guys. trailer trash. But it's, yeah, but but it's kind of like a killer, like you know, cold. Like I don't care if you die. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'll shoot you dead in the, in the middle of the mall. It's good that you got Kate Beckinsale. Oh my God, she's hot. She is. But you could have used the no name for that. It didn't have to be Kate Beckinsale. She had a couple crying, like oh, I'm being attack scenes, and you know she did good at what she did, but she was just kind of his wife. You know, there yeah. was no special role for her there. So could have used anybody for that, but Kate Beckinsale's hot, and that's well, that was what it was. It's sex appeal. Exactly. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, so and of course you got the scene in the beginning of the movie where it walks out and. And Mark Wahlberg is like hardcore making out with her. Yeah. You know what is it about Mark Wahlberg? Every time he makes out with a chick, he's like swallowing her face. I don't know. Like, he he's really like is. licking he was, her he cheek. Was, he was tonsil diving. There's yeah. no doubt. He's always yeah. like that. Mark she Wahlberg. probably said you taste like Planet of the Apes. Those are the best moments of the movie when you know Mark Wahlberg is pissed off yep. and he's ready and he's looking for a fight. Yep. Those are the greatest moments of that movie. And the whole idea of don't mess with my family, or I'm gonna come after you is great. And the whole movie, the bad guys just keep tugging on Superman's cape. You know, they keep yeah. messing with him. They keep threatening his family. And you're just like, oh, yeah. You're he's waiting. Saying, you're yeah, waiting. You're getting hyped because you're, Wolver's getting pissed and he's well, about to tear like, someone's Here, guys, there's a scene in the movie where um, the Mark Wahlberg's family is threatened in a lot more of a physical way than it was earlier in the film. And you know... When he's on that boat, when he's coming back from, I'll, I'll just, I mean, it's not going to give away the movie, but they go to Panama for the smuggling expedition. But when he's on his way back, you know Mark Wahlberg is going to kick some ass. You yeah. know that's going to happen. And I'll, I will say one thing I didn't like about the movie is you know how he was like going and he was recruiting his crew. Yeah, they were all wussies, except they for the, except for the engineer guy. Yeah, maybe. if you're like a smuggler. You, you know, think you have a crew like you're, gonna a, hard, like a, you're not going to be crew. like a nice soft spoken. I hope we don't get into trouble. Yeah, you know when Mark Wahlberg's beating somebody down and they deserve it, you feel like you're in the room with them. Yeah. Well, were they on the high, on the boat doing the heist? I felt like I was standing on the boat in the cold waiting oh, for something to happen. Oh, uh, exactly. Dude, yeah, you're you're hitting it on. Like there was points in the movie where it just dragged so much, and you're like, when is this going to end? Like, 
there are parts like you're like they don't need that scene in the movie to like get you like to get you pumped up for what's happening like you know there's a clock you know issue you know that there's you know he's got to get this done you know but they don't need that scene in the movie it just extends it further than it needs to go yeah but and especially at the end uh, I was especially like when is this you know I'm kind of like when is this gonna be over I, I gave it a 7.5 which I still stand by I think 7.5 is a good score but ultimately I do think that uh, yeah it should have ended earlier yeah, like, I mean were you watch it again I, I don't know like I I, I would give it I gave it a seven point five and it's not one of those movies I would say rush it out right now and, and put your money down and go see it but um, I would probably watch it again on DVD uh, you gave it a six point five and you're standing by the six point five yeah I'm standing and, by and, okay and what's your recommendation would you recommend seeing this movie in theaters or would you wait for Blu-ray DVD well, what's out right now <laughs> that's the main thing I mean yeah. right now there's if you're gonna go see a movie, like right now, like this I'd week, say, if you're gonna go see it this week, yeah, what I, I, I'd say go see it. I, I'd say go see it instead of anything else yeah. because we got Beauty and the Beast 3D. Yeah. Uh, there's um, if you like action movies, if you like you know horror movies or exciting movies, and you're not into oh I want to see an Oscar movie at the local you know cafe, then they show movies at cafes. Yeah, and that, I mean, but ultimately seven point five for me, six point five for you. Closing thoughts: Mark Wahlberg's good in it. But not recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. He's not going to recommend it for uh, go out right now and see it in the movie theaters. But if Wait. you're going to the movies, if you're going to go to the movie, go. If you're just like looking for something, like if you're taking your wife or girlfriend, and you're like, they're like, well, what movies should we see? I don't know what kind of movie. And you're like, contraband. Like that's not bad. But at the end of the day, just subscribe, like, comment below. Tell us what you what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, what kind of movie you want to see from us next. If you want us to do a DVD update or a Blu-ray update or what our favorite Blu-rays, just yeah, say anything, whatever. Let us know you want. Well, we are going to see a movie next week, so let us know what kind of movie you want us to see, and we'll get back to you. So until then, see ya. You know you love it. I hate three. You think this is good? I hate three D. I've never seen a movie. I've never. I've never, I've never seen a movie in three D either. I'm, uh, yeah. I don't want to wear glasses. I already have to wear glasses. Yes. You know what? Fuck glasses. I don't need these Just glasses. get it off your face. I think he's good in his movies. Yeah. I think he gets shut the fuck up. Stop <laughs> saying yeah. But at the end of the day. Yeah. No. What was fighting about? Well, it, uh, like, I loved him in Pandora. I thought he was great in Pandora. That movie sucked, dude. Are you serious? Yeah. This guy that was in the background somewhere in the theater in the darkness that is. <laughs> he, uh, it was, uh, there was a part where he's like, Mark Wahlberg's like, uh, well, how much is it worth? And the guy was like, $140 million. And he was like, oh. And there's a guy in the background in the theater that goes, oh, oh, oh. I just want to yeah, see, I, you know, you want to see suits going. Madden movie. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm tired of this, you know, whole. Get out to my face, woman. <laughs> yeah. Bring me popcorn. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah, chicken dinner. Exactly. I just want to see shit explode. It doesn't have to be the indie flick of the year for yeah. it to be that way. Mm. Even No Country for Old Men. That's the perfect That's example. That's a badass movie. That's a badass movie, but why can't you just end it? Why do you have to be, oh, we're going to do something different? Because uh, well, we're I, the Coen I, brothers I, I, yeah, and it's yeah. got to be fancy. Just freaking have him shoot the guy in the head, say a cool line, and end the movie. I'm okay with the cheesy, just typical ending because I like to have my shit wrapped up in a tight little bow and I want to know what I'm going to see. Let me see. I'm sorry. Let me see. Let me see. I like the Italian pizza food. Yes, I like the Italian. I don't sound bored right. Shut up. Anyway. No, yeah. <laughs> you just, you just screwed that house. Uh, you know, but yeah. anyway.